Hey everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe and today we're going to do an acrylic pour painting on a 12 by 12 canvas. It's off to the side for right now. This is going to be a devil egg container flip cup thing. <laughs> I don't have an official name for it. Um, it's kind of similar to like the, I don't know, a flip cup but using this contraption instead. I'm going to try to kind of get like a sunflower-y design based on my colors and the way I pour them. So I'm using all Mixed Media Girl pouring paints for the green, like the leaves and shrubbery um, kind of design in the background hopefully. will be emerald, electric lime, and meadow green. For the sunflower part we're going to use the primary yellow and the golden sun just for some contrast. And then for the middle, um, we've got the Chocolate Magic and the Sand. These are all colors in her standard lineup. So you can buy them on her website and I will link that below. I'm gonna get everything open and get this filled in. Okay, so we've got the tray filled with paint. Um, I kind of forgot a crucial step here. <laughs> and I've got my canvas ready and it's got tape on it, but it's not stuck to the spinner yet, but I need to get this covered in white paint first. So be right back. <laughs> All right, we are back. I've got the canvas covered with white paint. So I think just to make my life a little bit easier, I'm just gonna lay it down like that. Um, we lost some tape and now it's all wet, so the tape is kind of pointless at this point, but we're gonna just keep going with it. I'm gonna pick up the entire thing, the um, egg carton tray thing and canvas, and then very, very quickly turn it over. And I do remember from last time, I've only done this technique one other time, but I do remember from last time it does tend to suction. So it is a little bit of a experiment to get it off. You don't really want to drip because other colors can intermingle. Ta-da, did it. All right. And you may have seen in the, when I was pouring the paint, I did put a little bit of black in here as well. I think I might want to manipulate this just a little bit before spinning. Um, I don't really know exactly what I want to do. I think through all of the greens, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick line through them. Ooh. Try not to drip too much. Because these are, in theory, leaves. And then through the middle, I think just going to kind of do some random little bits get some of that white in there and then for these I'm just gonna randomly pull some of that white in and we'll see if this does anything see what happens when we spin it I'm gonna spin it kind of gently just because it's not really taped down Ooh. Also, make sure you get your hand out of the way. <laughs> All right, I'm liking it. I'm keep going. Okay, maybe one more. All right, I love this. I wanna see if I can tilt it just a little bit this way. Mm, it's not really doing what I'm wanting to. Kind of just want the yellow petal at the top of your screen to kind of go out a little bit. Maybe I'll try blowing on it a little. 
I'm going to do this pretty gently just because I'm not exactly sure what to expect here. So I'm going to go really gently just to see what, what the paint does. And that is actually exactly what I wanted to happen. So I am very happy with that. I am going to spin it this way a little. Not quite that far. This this much. <laughs> um, I didn't level the table, but I did put some things underneath it to hopefully have it more level. This is the side where it typically runs off. But I will get this to a very safe level drying area as soon as we do our close-up. I think I might actually blow out a little bit in the middle here, see what happens. Just kind of to see if there's any other colors underneath, because there's not a lot of diversity here, a lot of contrast. pushing that middle back towards the middle and pushing the leaves back towards the middle a little bit as well, or the petals. All right, now let's do our close-up. All right, here we are for the close-up. I'm gonna start in the middle. There's not a ton of contrast, but there is a little bit in there. And also that metallic chocolate magic, it just has a lot of dimension and it's on its own. And then we'll just go in a circular pattern here. You can see all the different leaves and the petals from our kind of sunflower-esque painting. That's what I was going for. And I am pretty happy with it. Let me know what you think of this piece in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and do what makes you happy.